What's up, guys? Welcome to my review of the Latitude 64 Ballista Pro. Big thank you to Dynamic Discs for sponsoring this review. I appreciate their support very much. Go to dynamicdiscs.com and check out their full selection of Latitude, Dynamic, and Westside Plastic, as well as their great bags, baskets, carts, all that good stuff. The Ballista Pro is a brand new release from Latitude 64. It's a high-speed, overstable distance driver in the Opto Plastic. The flight numbers are 14, 4, zero and three i think those are pretty damn spot on from my testing for sure uh good looking disc i like the stamp this one's 176 grams um, one thing you're going to notice about the ballista pro once you get a feel for it is that it has a very substantial rim and also a pretty noticeable pop top dome to the flight plate you can see it has a very rounded profile to the flight plate there and a uh, somewhat sharp outer edge um, as i spin this around you're going to get a look at it that it has a pretty flat leading edge to the rim and it has a little bit of a sharp feel in the hand not my favorite but it's not a big deal either um, the rim size is definitely substantial and is very noticeable uh, as a speed 14 disc it's got a very wide rim let's put it up next to the gladiator to give you an idea of the differences in the design i feel like the gladiator is a, a somewhat more comfortable disc in the hand for sure i prefer the feel of a flatter disc the rims may be slightly smaller although it's hard to say um, side by side there you'll have to just take a look for yourself definitely a more rounded outer edge to the rim I enjoy that personally for what that's worth um, full review on the gladiator coming up very soon a little bit flatter and a little bit more rounded than the ballista pro but somewhat similar in terms of roll as a high-speed overstable distance driver so yeah good disc the opto plastic is great it's one of my favorite plastic types on the market great grip good durability and a lot of great bright colors what more do you need a little burst to this one that makes it that much better let's take a look at some flights here we got andy first of all Throwing this thing pretty strong. We're out at Milo MacGyver here in Estacada, Oregon. A little skip to the end there. Very stable disc. You're not going to see much in the way of natural turn. Even thrown here with some good pop. It starts to move right for a second, but immediately hooks back up and takes a big flare skip around the corner there. Here's another shot from Andy. You're going to see some more skip on this particular one. If you keep it low like that and it lands, it's going to take a pretty good skip and uh, get you some some movement in that direction here's james he's a new friend we ran into that day out at milo macgyver actually and you can see he has a little bit more power i'd say than andy and a uh, very nice form and this thing is still flying very overstable for him but you'll also notice that it gets from point a to point b very quickly it's a very noticeably fast disc from my testing it's pretty obvious it has a lot of speed to it for sure and it wants to be thrown with speed in order to get it to fly for my arm speed which is somewhat middle of the road i see a lot of stability out of this disc i can definitely throw something more understable and get more distance out of it from my particular level and arm speed out there on the course if i have something that has some more natural turn i'm able to get more distance out of it that way um, i think the ballista pro is definitely designed for and best suited for high level Level players that throw with a lot of speed and power. The speed is really the attribute of this disc that makes it somewhat unfriendly for beginners. Definitely designed for people who know what they're doing with their form. You got to hit this thing with some power to get it to fly. If you had a big power arm, I could see you getting huge distance out of this thing because of its speed. It gets where it's going very fast, and if you were able to get it to start moving to the right or just throw it fast enough where it stands up and holds that straight line for a long way and has a strong fade at the end of the flight i think you're going to get big distance out of this definitely best suited for those players that have a lot of power and arm speed definitely a solid disc i think for what it's designed for for those high powered players that have a lot of arm speed to their throw it's going to be a very popular disc for them and for us mere mortals it could be a good headwind driver or something that you know you can throw as hard as you want to it's never going to flip on you you'll get a strong fade at the end of the flight and a very consistent overstable flight path that's my review of the ballista pro big thanks to everybody for watching thanks to dynamic disc i'll check y'all very soon cheers